much-anticipated meeting of the National Economic Council has now ended at the Presidential Villa Abuja with a resolution to consider negotiating a new minimum wage for workers. There were also other interventions that will be introduced to cushion the impact of the full subsidy removal. Some of them is that each state should plan towards implementing a cash transfer program based on the social register of the state. Also, there should be a cash award policy for public servants for six months. NEC has also recommended that state governments pay public servants outstanding liabilities, among others. State House correspondent Femi Akonde will be joining us shortly to share updates on the outcome of that much-anticipated meeting. Thanks for joining us on the program. It's 52 days of Bola Tinubu's uh, presidency, and we're monitoring developments in his first 100 days in office. I am Nifemi Ogunto. You can join the conversation right now on Twitter if you use the hashtag first 100 days. Remember to tag at TVC News NG and at Nifemi Ogunto. Coming up on the show today, we'll continue our discussion on President Tinubu's uh, full subsidy palliatives and the new pump prize. Joining me uh, later on is the head National Coordinating Center, United Action Front of Civil Society, or Lawale. Okunui, and Executive Director, Center for Rights and Grassroots Initiative, Nelson Ekujimi. Now, President Tinubu has continued his consultation with key players on how to get the economy on and on, on sound footing. Yesterday, he and Vice President Kashim Shatima met with the Senate President, Gotsula Pabio, and governors of Imo, Kwara, Lagos, and Ogun State, including the former governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje. According to the Presidential Advisor on Special Duties, Communications and Strategy, Delia Lake, the meeting also looked at how to finalize arrangement on the distribution of palliatives in order to cushion the effect of the full subsidy removal. The presidency earlier had proposed the distribution of grains and fertilizers to farmers, uh, also as part of measures to boost food security across the country. State House correspondent Femi Akonde joins me now on the program. Femi, uh, we've waited for, uh, uh, for weeks after the president gave next responsibility uh, to, you know, discuss government intervention in this light. Walk us through what the resolutions are. Yes, well, Nifemi, like you said, the quite anticipated, the long anticipated meeting of the National Economic Council that would um, roll out the palliative program of the government. But what we are hearing now coming out of the meeting based on the resolutions reached uh, by, with, at NEC, a meeting that comprises uh, state governors, is that the subnationals will be heavily involved now in cushioning the impact of the removal of petrol subsidy on the poorest of the poor. They are expected to come up with a conditional cash uh, transfer program based on the social registers in their states. They are also expected to uh, come up with some kind of a cash award program for civil servants in their states and also ensure or uh, begin the process of the transition from uh, fossil fuel uh, vehicles to to uh, the CNG, the compressed national gas uh, vehicles, the CNG vehicles, you know. But all of these are just um, the short-term measures. That of uh, the review of the national minimum wage is a medium and long-term measure by the, uh, uh, a medium and long-term measure, a recommendation by the National uh, Economic Council. But you know what uh, this throws up is that uh, a lot of questions about the social register. How many states have social registers? What is the credibility and integrity of these social registers. We also understand that at the NEC meeting, the governors were unanimous in uh, saying that the national social register, as we have now, lacks our credibility and integrity because they're asking questions about how it was compiled, who and who, uh, which names are on that uh, register, and are these people on the register truly beneficiaries of go uh, government interventions over time? You know, this has been a conversation that uh, has uh, uh, been ongoing for a while now, coming from the previous administration into the administration of uh, President Bola Tinubu. But now the governors are coming out to speak up openly against that national social register that existed, that was uh, set up in the previous administration. Now the state government, the state governors will have to do more in coming up with um, their own register 
sector and ensure that it is inclusive, it is robust, it captures the poorest the of the poor, the vulnerable, this, um, the people in need of yeah. these uh, conditional cash transfer that would help cushion the hardship caused by the removal of a petrol subsidy. This cash transfer at the state level, is it a replica of the initial 8,000 naira to be distributed to 12 million households? Well, I believe that will be worked out by state governments based on their uh, financial capacity. That is what we are hearing. You know, uh, some states uh, more, have more uh, financial, uh, more, have more resources at their disposal compared to uh, other states. So it will be based on what um, they can afford. And also, that would also have to be ratified again by the National Economic Council. So all states would go and work, will go and work it out based on their peculiarities. We do not know how much. There is no particular peg to it, but we just know that state governments now would have to be the ones in charge of uh, this conditional cash transfers that is expected to uh, ease the impact of the removal of petrol subsidy. Nifemi. So when you talk about negotiating a new minimum wage for workers, this conversation began in the early days of this administration when um, government, federal government met with labor leaders. I thought that conversation was ongoing before now. Yes, that conversation is ongoing. You know, it started when the fuel subsidy uh, was removed, when uh, labor, organized labor kicked against it and even threatened to down tools before they came to the negotiating table with the federal government. And one of their demands was a review of the national minimum wage. But now this has escalated to the level of the National uh, Economic Council. They also agree that looking at the current uh, reality in the country, there is a need to review the minimum wage uh, for workers. But you know, reviewing the minimum wage is a complex uh, process. It's not just uh, something that can be done uh, with just mere uh, executive pronouncement or pronouncement by Mr. President. A lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, processes are involved. People will have to come to the table, uh, the organized labor, the government, private sector, the civil society, everyone will have to come to the table to uh, bring their suggestions and see what uh, works, what is available, what is achievable, what is uh, realistic before they can now come up with, an, uh, with a harmonized uh, minimum wage that will now be uh, implemented. So it's expected to be uh, something that would be uh, a process that would uh, last for a while, like, you know, it was said at NEC, this is a medium and long-term uh, intervention, not something that will be immediate. But what we are expecting immediately are the conditional uh, cash transfers based on social registers that exist in states. Also, uh, food stuff will be released from the uh, National Grain Reserves to... Um, the poorest of the poor, fertilizers will be released to farmers. We already had uh, that announcement. And a whole lot of uh, smaller uh, interventions that would just ensure that uh, the, food, the prices of food stuff, basic food stuff, are not out of reach of the poor masses. Mifemi. All right, so we have the resolutions of the National Economic Council. Nigerians are waiting for the implementation and precisely what government will do in the coming days. Femi Akonde, live for us at the presidential villa. Abu